Piscolo, and welcome to this video where I show you how I hand assemble a uh, one of our Nixie Ramos alarm clocks. Um, and in this is going to be all kind of hand assemble, a uh, hand soldering of surface mount and through hole components. So you can see how I'm starting. Um, I put down the the components and um, hit them with solder. Um, so I I hit the pads with solder before. Uh, at least one pad and then I put the component on it and then solder it on and put flux using a flux pen. Now you can see the tip I use a fairly big chisel tip um, and some of you could say that oh that tip is too big uh, but it works well because it's very versatile and you can use it on the small components and the large components and save yourself the hassle of changing out tips. Uh, and you can see I'm, I'm doing some continuity checks on uh, the small components so here's some more surface mount components um, hitting the, uh, the pads with solder, you can kind of see my technique of doing it. First I hit one pad, then I solder it down, and then I hit the other pad when the components solder down. This avoids tombstoning. Uh, here's a very small package, well, small leads uh, that I'm using uh, hot air. I have the Heiko 850B, which is a nice and expensive uh, hot air gun. Um, first I solder the pads, uh, and then I put the component down and hit it with air, and then kind of go through it again with the soldering iron. Uh, here's the same process with a uh, the big uh, PIC microchip uh, controller um, which is pretty much the main computer. Um, and then uh, I think next up we're gonna put down the, the hardest uh, component I think. Um, and that's this, this guy, the blue guy. That's um, That package is uh, it has pads on the underside of it so what I do is I hit the PCB with hot air first and heat that up and then I put the component on it. That way the underside is uh, hot to begin with. Um, so now uh, here's the Nixie part of it. We use uh, original Nixie sockets um, and uh, these work really well and they're inexpensive. I, some people use uh, um, other kinds of uh, pin sockets um, but yeah so here we um, I'm hitting them with solder uh, that is entirely too thin. I should use bigger solder but I didn't have it. Uh, these sockets are really old. They're probably 50 years old, and those pins are somewhat oxidized, so we have trouble with them. Um, and this is just like a, I'm doing a one-off. In our production runs, we actually sent these out to uh, an assembler who assembled them using mass production techniques. Um, and uh, more pins and more through-hole components. And now, now it's the through-hole component phase, just stuffing everything with... Uh, the 10 or so through hole components using Kapton tape to hold them in and then flip it on the other side and then hit them all with solder. Um, I use a very small solder, it's a Kester uh, um, lead solder which works really well. So here's uh, uh, the fun bit, the Nixie, Nixie, more Nixie bits. These are the INS-1 neon bulbs. They come in a really cool Soviet wooden box, I mean a uh, cardboard box. Um, and they're just bulbs that go on and off. Um, but they're made by the same uh, manufacturer that made the tubes, and they just go well, really well, go really well together aesthetically. Um, so here's a little test test board I made uh, for um, doing final programming and testing. And here you can see I snap the panel out uh, using regular rescoring. I'm programming it, and then here's the original box of Nixie tubes. And um, it's so crazy. The, the Soviets made these all the way up till I found ones that were made in 1991. This one's made in 1990. There's a date code on the side of it. It's just nuts that they kept making them till the early 90s when they were obsolete in like the mid 70s. Um, but they are really pretty. And uh, so here is uh, the circuit. The electronics are done. I'm just uh, doing final assembly. Uh, and this is a really special. Uh, Nixie Ramos clock. It's because it's made out of car it's it's carbon fiber wrapped, um, and then sprayed over with a high gloss finish, and uh, it was made by a guy who's a pro at carbon fiber. Um, and you're stuffing the uh, the tubes, uh, and the sockets make that really nice and easy. It's a, it also makes it easy to replace the tubes if you have to. And uh, the thing in front is a grill for a speaker because uh, we have a speaker because it's an alarm clock so there's it actually talks there's like a little audible menu and then uh, it has the actual alarm so the high gloss finish is 
a pain to keep like yeah it just attracts dust and then you could see every little speck of dust but it comes out really nice when you clean it and the controls are on the top are uh, just for setting the time and turning on the alarm turning on and off the alarm and the, the guy who made the um, the carbon fiber actually airbrushed in the corners with uh, like a dark paint to kind of make the um, to hide the discontinuities uh, at the corners and make it more you know flowy in terms of uh, like the visual aesthetic so it came out pretty nice so the the checker weave doesn't you know break it kind of just flows into the other facet and it goes in the box and uh, gets shipped out to a happy customer and thanks for watching